An electromagnet can be modeled as an inductor in series with the resistor. Consider a large electromagnet of inductance L equals 12.5 henrys and the resistance is equal to 6 ohms, connected to an 18 volt battery and switch as in the figure shown below. After the switch is closed, find the following. The maximum current carried by the electromagnet, the time constant of the circuit, and the time it takes the current to reach 95% of the, its maximal value. Well, the maximum current would be basically the current you would get if it was just uh, a, just the electrical, uh, the EMF, and a resistor without a solenoid. And so with the nothing else, you would get that, that uh, E equals IR, and the maximum current, so the, so the max... The max current is equal to E over R. Then the definition of the time constant for an RL circuit, tau, is equal to the inductance divided by the resistance. So that gives you part A and part B. So for part A, I got 3 amps from my numbers. And from part B, I got 2.083 seconds. And then for part C, it wants to know the time that it takes, the time that it takes to get 95% of the maximum current. So how long does it take to get to 95% of that max? And so what I'll do is I'll define my, uh, my uh, I, my current, as equal to 0.95 I max. And I just solved for I max. It's equal to E over R. So I can say that I is equal to 0.95 E over R. But in this case, I don't have to define it because this is actually going to cancel. Everything is going to cancel out. So if I set up my, my uh, equation for an RL circuit, the, the current going in an RL circuit is equal to I, uh, I is equal to I max times 1 minus E to the negative T over tau. And that, this, this little T is, a, is the Greek tau. I'm just not good at drawing it small. And so if I substitute I for my equation for I, I get 0 0.95 I max equals I max times 1 minus E to the negative T over tau. And again, that's a lousy tau there. I try to make it look better. But the first thing you're going to notice is that I can get my I maxes to cancel. I just divide both sides by I max, and I'm left with 0 0.95 is equal to 1 minus E to the negative T over tau. And this is an equal sign. So if I subtract over this 1, I get 0 0.95 minus 1, which is equal to negative 0 0.5, is equal to negative E to the negative t over tau. And then I'll just multiply both sides by negative 1. And when I do that, I get that 0 0.5 is equal to e negative t over tau. And then uh, in order to find uh, this quantity, negative t over tau, I can take both sides by the natural log. So the natural log of e is equal to 1 and the natural log of e to the x is equal to x. So in this case, I take the natural log of 0 0.5 is equal to negative t over tau. I can multiply by the negative time constant, and I'll get negative tau times the natural log of 0 0.5 is equal to t. And then when I plug in my numbers, I'll get uh, negative uh, 2.083 times the natural log of 0 0.5, which is going to be a negative number itself, is equal to t, and t is equal to 6.241109 seconds. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.